y'all welcome back to my channel why don't you get on here today with a hair get ready with me i have always had coarse frizzy hair with a, not a great texture so i found some products that are really making it feel like hair again want to go through right before i wash it through hopefully just two day hair three day hair is getting pretty rough so i found some great products going to share those with you going to go in my bathroom and i hope you enjoy okay y'all i'm fixing to wash my hair and before i wash my hair i do the trader joe's shea butter coconut oil and hair mask this is my favorite thing i've tried it doesn't weigh it down i think it's making it healthier and i'm keeping my volume so yeah i really love this and it doesn't make a mess it dries down really nice so i'm going to brush my hair out and we'll put some of this on Okay, then I just got a good amount in my hand, and then I'll go through the bottom half. And just squeeze it all through there really good. Okay, got that through the bottom half of my hair, and now I'm going to leave it for, I don't know how long, but I will check back. I'll wash my hair, and then I'll show you what I do after that. Okay, y'all, we're washed and conditioned, and what I use to wash my hair and condition it changes a lot. Probably my absolute favorite to wash and condition is the Aussie Volume. My hair always does real well with this. I also love the Hydrate and Repair Shampoo. I use this a lot too. I also really like the Garnier Fruit Tees and I get the Color Shield. These are really nice. Um, the only thing that I might spend a little bit more on is the Nioxin Conditioner. And I occasionally will use this on my scalp to slow shedding down. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my hair out of the towel and then I derma roll really haphazardly around <laughs> my head. And I use a 1.0 because the scalp is tough. So I'm gonna use a 1.0 and I'll show you where I derma roll. Just kind of wherever I feel like it needs it. Kind of brush through it real quick. And then this is not a derma rolling video. There are a lot of good derma rolling videos out there. I'm gonna link Elle's because she was the one that told me about derma rolling the scalp and using the Nutriog serum. So I'm gonna link her video. There's a lot more to it that I'm gonna put here, but I'm just going to derma roll over the parts that I feel like are thinner than others. So I just brush through it. And then I kind of, I do right here. And that has really, I think, helped. So I do this real quick most times that I wash. That used to have a lot less hair. So I just real fast do that in real short strokes because you don't want to grab your hair and tear it. And then I just part it. And I just in real short strokes. And you want to have your hair pretty tight in really short strokes because that can grab that hair so fast. Let's do back here. I just do the parts that I kind of feel a bit thinning and part it a couple of places, and I figure over. A couple of weeks I get my whole head. Then I'm gonna take the Nutriox Serum and I'm gonna spray my scalp. This is a thinning serum, it's supposed to slow shedding. So I'm just gonna spray that also haphazardly. And then I like to, you know, kind of scratch my scalp and kind of get it in there real good. That doesn't take too long, it's like really fast. Then we're gonna wait 10 minutes and let that kind of soak in and I will be back. And to sterilize this, I just rinse it and spray it with alcohol, and it'll be ready for the next use. I used to use a lot of styling products on my hair. I keep it really simple now. I use a gel and a mousse, and the gel I use is the Fructis Pure Clean Styling Gel. And I'm just going to put it through my bangs and through the top part of my hair. I'll be back. For mousse, I combined the Got To Be, Fantastic, and I combined the Herbal Essences, which was my old mousse. This is a little thick, this is a little thin, and together, they're perfect. So I put it about that much Got To Be. I put quite a bit of mousse, y'all. And about that much of that. And I'm going to flip my head over and just run this through my whole head. Okay, so now I'm just going to blow dry my hair, and I'll show you how I blow dry my bangs, and then the rest of it I'll just um, edit out. Okay, to do my bangs, I just use a round brush. Then when they're 
dry, I just shoot them with some hairspray before I do the rest of my hair. As I apply it, I do an oil. I either do the Monate Rejuvenique. I mostly use this for these wiry hairs over here that just want to break off. Or I also love the Lanza Healing Strength Neem Plant Silk Serum. This is what I'll use today. You put it on and it just feels like it dissolves into your hair. This makes this last longer. This is a mid-range in the 30s. This was close to 100. I will, however, put this on these little wiry hairs over here. I'm gonna do these first. I'm just gonna do one drop of the Monate. And just really get that through those hairs good. Okay, then on the rest of my hair, I'm gonna use this. I just put a pump or two. Today I put two because it feels real dry. So that may be my water. And then I'm going to flat iron it. And I make sure it's not just too hot because I have oil in my hair. So I'm going to turn that down to about 380, 390. And I'm going to just run the flat iron all over my head. Okay, and then I'm going up on my scalp, but I'm going out, never down. Okay, and then on my bangs, I go up and out, up, out, and down, and really fast so it doesn't burn those. This one, this side goes that way, this side goes that way, and then this one kind of goes up and down. And then pulling out from underneath will make it look like you have a lot more hair beside your face. Just go up under there and pull out. If it feels like it needs more body, my go-to on clean hair is the Living Proof Dry Volume Blast. Um, it doesn't really feel like it needs more texture, and I like to add as little as possible because then it'll stay clean longer. So I'm going to shoot it with my Bamboo Fiber Full by OGX, and I'll just do the roots. I'll sleep in a ponytail tonight. I won't put any more product on it, unless it's hairspray. I'll just sleep with it in a ponytail, and then tomorrow I'll come back with second day hair. So I hope you'll have a good day, and I will check back. Okay, y'all, we're on day two hair, and I'm getting ready for bed. By day two, I'm getting pretty dry. So on second day, I do a hair oil. I have two favorite oils for second day hair. And one of them is the Rejuvenique, just like on the first day. And I could use this all over my head. And it does beautifully. It doesn't weigh me down. It makes my hair look cleaner. It makes it feel healthy. And I love this every day of my life. I love this, but I usually only use this, again, just on my stubborn hairs. I use that there. And then on the rest of my hair, I use this jojoba that Ellis for Living told me about. It's a very inexpensive and this works great and just really freshens it up. Okay, I'm gonna brush through my hair real quick. Okay, I'm gonna get a dropper of the Rejuvenique and I'm gonna put it on these stubborn little wiry hairs over here. <laughs> Trying to get those healthy. I let myself run out of this and they broke off again. So I'm just gonna put a dropper of this and it's, you probably can't see it, but it's not a lot. And I'm gonna put it all through these little wiry hairs and just really work it in there good. Until they kind of <laughs> straighten back out and have long hair. Okay, now I'm gonna get my ho ho but um, I usually put this in a dropper and do one, like a couple of drops of it. That makes it easier, but I can't find my dropper right now. So we're just gonna put just a little bit, like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not much. And then I'm gonna work it through the bottom half of my hair because I don't want to lose my volume at the roots. So I'm just gonna work it all through the bottom half. Oh my gosh, this so quickly makes my hair feel like hair again. Oh, that feels so good. I'm telling y'all that is magic. And then I'm gonna put it in a ponytail or a high bun and sleep. Tomorrow I'll go to the gym and then I'll rewash it. I could go probably a whole other day now.
Okay, y'all, and that is what I'm doing with my hair from the time I wash it to the time I wash it again. Sometimes I'll go to three-day hair, and I will just repeat second-day hair and just put a little bit of oil in it and brush through it. The oils and the pre-treatments, those are really helping me. Y'all leave down below some things that y'all are loving, so I will pick them up and love them with you. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.